Saturday morning. and welcome to This Week in Dioramas. I am your host, Tech Chucker. If you aren't familiar with how this show operates, every week I go through Instagram looking for the coolest looking dioramas, and I showcase them right here on the show. Now, if you'd like to be showcased in a future episode, all you need to do is upload your diorama pictures to Instagram and tag them with the hashtag This Week in Dioramas. Now, we've got a great show lined up for you today, but before we get into that, What'd you think of the intro? I had a lot of fun uh, getting up early several mornings to be able to get those golden hour shots. Everything was done by me. There was no stock footage or anything like that. I did all of it start to finish, all of the editing, all the filming, all of that. I just, I have a passion for cinematography and that sort of stuff, but I don't have enough time to really do short films or anything like that. So. Do a little intro. So let me know in the comments what did you think of the new intro. We'll probably roll that uh, at the beginning of most every episode going forward. Uh, I'd like some feedback on that. But like I said, we've got a great show lined up for you. Make sure you go check out Nate's Toys and Collectibles. Uh, he is right now trying to uh, unload some overstock that he's got. Uh, so go to the Facebook page. I've got it linked in the description below. Uh, I actually secured the NECA uh, April O'Neil two-pack cartoon version from him just today. I've got the Kingpin coming today as well. Uh, so he's a great guy, very honest dude, good prices, uh, probably better than good prices. Uh, and so I highly recommend you go check out Nate's Toys and Collectibles and also subscribe to him on YouTube as well. I will have links to both in the description below. Also, some other house cleaning pieces. Uh, if you're not familiar, we do have Tech Chucker and This Week in Dioramas gear. It's at teespring.com slash stores slash Tech Chucker. And we have a new set of designs for some face masks. So check that out. A little bit lower cost than these shirts. So if that's something uh, more in your wheelhouse, by all means, go check it out. teespring.com slash stores slash Tech Chucker. Uh, and uh, take a look and see what, uh, if anything, that you like. All right, we're about ready to get started. Before we do that, we do need to reveal the winner of last week's fan vote, and your winner is The Ring Dio by Drippo Rama. Congratulations, you'll now be entered into the Grand Championship vote coming at the end of the year, but don't worry, you'll still have another chance to vote for your favorite on the community tab on my channel after you're done watching this episode as well. Alrighty, you guys, we are ready to get started with the show. Uh, make sure you've got your beverage ready, you're all comfortable, because we are about to get going right now. I'm going to take a sip. There we go, that sounded nice. I'm drinking coffee. Let's start off first with Mr. Euler's workshop. Here is something I am going to ask everyone to go do. Go check out Euler, Euler's workshop, follow him on Instagram, but even more importantly, go check out and subscribe to his new YouTube channel. He has a giveaway going on right now <clears throat> where you will be able to win a custom diorama. So you need to make sure that you watch the entire video, uh, start to finish, get the instructions, because essentially all you got to do is be subscribed from what I understand. And if he hits 1000 subscribers by the end of the year, he will be giving away a diorama somewhat customized to your liking. So make sure you go check him out. Uh, I really hope that we can help him hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. If you're familiar 
familiar with his work, he does some really amazing work with dioramas and he has plans of showcasing and doing tutorials of how he is doing some of this stuff. Just check out his work. This is amazing. So I, it's not just a ploy to get somebody to have, you know, a thousand sub subscribers. This is going to benefit you because he has so much talent. I mean, and he showcases some other stuff. He does metal work. He does leather work. Uh, this, this gentleman is so talented. So I really am excited to see just for myself, what kind of tutorials he's going to be able to bring and what I will be able to learn from him. So go check him out. I will have links in the description below of <clears throat> both his Instagram and more importantly, his YouTube, which is Euler's workshop. So go get yourself subscribed right now. Okay, we are now ready to jump right on into the showcase, starting off with Lito Wep with a 112th scale sci-fi diorama. And I have to say, this thing is spectacular. Uh, I've been following uh, the progression of this piece a little bit, and wow, wow, you have done an amazing job. The paintwork with all the rust on here, the lighting, these little blue panels look amazing. There's so many cool details. I, I just absolutely love it. The skill set on here is spectacular. So awesome job to Little Wep. Make sure you go check them out. Next, coming from the Saint Seiya Squad, this is actually made by Yodin. I think he primarily posts on Facebook. And so the Saint Seiya Squad, if I'm not mistaken, they are from France. And it's a crew of different people that uh, make dioramas and what have you. And this Yodin person made this diorama. This thing is so amazing. It has kind of that whimsical look and my uh, my French is no good, but uh, <clears throat> I believe this says uh, new decor or something of an Asgard. Um, so we're going to call this an Asgard diorama. I mean, this thing is amazing. The paintwork is so cool. It's, it's such a different technique than what I've seen on other dioramas. And it is so, so incredible. The color scheme that you've chosen is just amazing. I absolutely love it. So amazing work to Yodin. Um, it would be awesome. Awesome. If you had your own Instagram, but I get it. Some people just don't like Instagram. I don't really care for Instagram that much either. Uh, so sometimes it's not worth wasting the time with it when somebody else is able to post your work for you. But uh, awesome job. This one is coming from Sage JDG. This is a rooftop commission uh, done for Toys R Us Kid 81. Uh, this thing is pretty cool and it looks like they're using some bookends that they picked up uh, and then they added to it. And this is pretty spectacular looking. I love the way that it turned out. It's very, very dark and uh, has that Gotham feel to it. The, the light behind the window with the hazy window is a very nice touch and obviously having these little gargoyles is very very cool as well. Gives you that uh, uh, Gotham feel. So great job to Sage JDG on yet again another awesome piece. This one is coming from Time Capsule Scratch Builder, and I gotta say, this thing is spectacular. It is a 134th scale traditional British corner shop, and wow, the detail work on here, it is so realistic looking. Uh, I mean, it, it's just, wow, such great work, and I love how you package it. Well, you're not really packaging it, but I love how you display it. It looks so complete and so professional with the, the actual mounting base here, and then the base for the street going into the building, and it just, it looks so good. And then he, he always puts them into these little uh, glass cases, which is a nice touch as well. Uh, we've got lights inside, which is awesome. The signage, everything looks so good. There's so much talent within this small little piece that it is just amazing it's fun to look at there's little Easter egg sort of things hidden inside it's just it's just a fun piece so great job I've been promising that I'm not gonna be doing cuts but I have I've been having to do some cuts I've got a little bit of a cough going on but don't worry we're safe. Nothing's going on. It's just regular old colds. This one though is coming from JV77. And I, I, if I recall, you kind of just started 
working on dioramas not too long ago. Now you're saying after working five months on and off on this one, it uh, looks like it is done. I, I don't recall if you've been doing these for a long time or if you just started up, but this is amazing. Look at the paintwork on here. Everything is so well done. I mean, incredible work. Wow. You have really done a great job with this diorama. I am very impressed. There's so many cool details. Just check this out. What a great package. This is whoever's getting this is going to be extraordinarily happy. It is so well done. The detail is, oh, I love the paintwork. Paintwork is top notch here. Really well done. This next one's coming from Bryce Nublar, uh, and it, it wasn't actually tagged. I just happened to find it while I was perusing Instagram, and it is absolutely amazing this diorama it's a 1 12th scale dock diorama uh, from the tmnt2 with super shredder uh, that's who he's got in here right now and just look at this thing it is a sight to behold i am ah uh, so impressed with this piece it is beautiful you can see the paintwork with the tin walls i mean that is phenomenal work i love the water here it looks like real water the timbers everything everything looks so realistic and the lighting adds to it great picture i uh, can't wait to see more i hope you will start using the hashtag because your work is amazing i'd love to see even more Next, coming from Spiral Dioramas, let's go ahead and hit play and speak over this piece or over the video. It is a Jack Sparrow Dio. Let's get into this a little bit. He assembles it. I want to speed it up just a little bit so that we can get through all of the other work. Uh, the sculpt work on here and the paintwork is so very nice. It looks so good. It actually looks like kind of an old wood look and I really dig what you've got. Let's get a little bit further in because look at that stairway how cool is that there's a little bit of a curve to this uh, banister thing that is awesome so <clears throat> I can't tell this must be part of the ship so you walk up the stairs to the uh, I guess where the whatever the wheel is I think I'm pretty sure this is part of the a ship Let's see, oh, it's not clicking in the right spots, but I mean, wow, the, the work that you put into here is amazing. I just love it, great job. Next, um, this one's not actually made by Arcane Rubber Hobby, but it's posted by them and there's two things that are awesome. Number one, the diorama is made by Wacus Bazaar and I love the diorama. It looks super cool, but take a look at what this Arcane Rubber Hobby has done with this. What? This is insane. Is this some sort of stop motion? Because you've actually got the figure here moving a little bit and you've got the canopy moving is this stop motion i'm just okay let's check this out to see how in the world did you get this to move this is crazy ridiculous i i don't even know what to do with this it is so cool and then you've obviously got um, some special effects with the lasers coming in which is also awesome i oh I just dig it so much. The diorama is spectacular looking. It looks so good. The weathering, uh, if you're not familiar with Wacus Bazaar, um, go check out their work. They do a lot of Star Wars stuff. And I mean, it is so nice. The paint work on here, just look at the weathering throughout here. The ground looks awesome, but I can't, I can't get over the special effects that you're doing. That is so cool. All right, next up, coming from Siete Dieci Uh Let's see, wish it was, it's it's like a, um, a tree house. And you know, the old school tree houses, people built it out of just any old stuff that they found. That's what this looks like and you really nailed it. You did a great job of piecing these things together giving it a paint job, uh, lots of weathering throughout, and it really looks like an authentic uh, treehouse that, heck, I would have, as a kid, I would have wanted to stick around in this thing. I mean, it is super cool. Uh, so great job on a really, really unique piece. Uh, not sure what scale this is, but it is super cool, and I really like it. This one's coming from Rhino Dioramas. It is a friend's door key holder. 
And I gotta say, this thing is pretty darn amazing. I really dig it. And this is something that because it has a functional utility to it where it, it can actually hold your car keys, house keys, whatever. I mean, if you don't sell a bunch of these to, I mean, just gen the general population, I don't, I don't know, I mean, there's got to be tons of people that would love to have this. I mean, the iconic picture frame over the peephole from the Friends show. I mean, this thing is just so incredibly cool. If you're not familiar with Rhino Dioramas, uh, they were the um, sponsor of last year's Grand Championship vote or uh, prize, and they do tons of 3D printed items. They make dioramas. They have tons of talent. The paintwork on their work is always so much fun, and I really wanted to showcase this because it is so incredibly unique and something that I could see a lot of people really, really wanting. So if this doesn't fly off the shelves, then I don't know anything about what people like. Next, coming from Vasco Toys, is a look, closer look at their latest diorama, Destroyed Warehouse Diorama. It is sold, so I'm sorry, you're not going to be able to pick this one up, uh, but you have done a really nice job on this piece. I love that it comes with uh, debris or broken down bricks that you, it looks like you've probably glued them together so that you can move them about in different little piles. You can see this has a little corner uh, cut into it, so it can go right into the corner wherever you want it. Yep, there we go. That is super cool, very versatile so that you can um, move that stuff around if you need to. Look at those busted out windows, that looks awesome. You really did a great job on this piece. The, the destruction, rubble and whatnot is awesome. So it's whoever it is that bought this thing is definitely taking home a great diorama. And see, this is the one that they took those cool pictures. If you didn't uh, already, check it. Check out the uh, This Week in Diorama's um, Dio Shots that we did episode, it was last weekend. Uh, check that out. There's a lot of cool pictures like this uh, throughout because that's what that show was all about. And and uh, Vasco Toys, um, you've really done a great job with this. I kind of, I kind of walked myself into a corner with what I was saying. I forgot what I was saying. That, and we're not cutting it. So, <laughs> you're getting what I had. <clears throat> Next, coming from BTMA Cart, um, your work is amazing it is so realistic looking and i absolutely love this piece just check out all of the coloration and sculpt work that went into this especially just on the roof look at that there's little tints of green where there's mildew and uh, moss that's been growing on this little cottage it is a super cool little little diorama you can see i think that's his thumb there and so you can kind of get a perspective of the scale um this thing is probably what 130 yep 135th scale so really cool lots of talent with this piece next coming from marveling about is a um, terrain piece let's see a lava cave they busted out in uh, 2015 for transformers etc etc there's some work in progress pics to show how they got this um, because once the lights are turned on you're probably gonna be a little bit surprised as to what you're seeing compared to what you can get with the pictures on this and what I mean by that is is it doesn't take that much for paint color to make some really really cool looks uh, when you are working with different lights so you can see they've got uh, clearish resin or something here and it looks super cool but then when you throw the lights into this look how amazing that is that is spectacularly cool. I'm using the word spectacular a lot. I like the word and I like this diorama. It is super cool. Uh, obviously, uh, Anakin from the third uh, episode three Star Wars. This is this reminds me of that uh, scene. Um, but obviously, there's plenty of other scenes that would uh, work with a lava piece. So great job. Next, coming from Captain Ears or Capped Ears, this piece is sold. It is the Hideout, 112th scale, 50 by 23 by 35. Let's say that again 50. 50 inches. I'm 50 years old. No, I'm not 50 years old. Not yet, not yet. But look at this thing. It is super cool. Look at how clean these walls are. The bricks are perfect. Uh, and then we can see we get hallways. I mean, there's so many options with this piece. I just love 
everything about it. They're, like I said, the options are just about endless. I would love to see a full wide shot if this thing is 50 inches. Oh my gosh, that thing's gotta be huge. But look at that, you've got like an elevator here with the little gate or the cage, nice little utility box. I mean, this took some time, this took some planning. You can see the ceiling is built also. There's some air ducts. You got fire, uh, I think this is a, a probably the sprinkler system pipe. I mean, wow, this is awesome. This one's coming from Diorama Boy, and this is a really cool picture. Uh, picture alone is awesome, but the diorama also is super cool. I love all of the different types of brick that you've, well, technically these two are kind of the same uh, type of brick, but they look like they're different color, and I don't know if you did that with lighting or if this is actually painted a different color, but then I also like that the floor tile is a very different style of tile and color which is really nice and the debris and trash that you've got in here is super cool it adds to it again i always say this about diorama boys work they're great at adding in debris and trash and whatnot into the dioramas to give that realistic feel and look at the ceiling you can see that it looks like the um outer skin that was on the roof or on the ceiling has mostly fallen off and you've weathered it perfectly. These lights work perfectly in here. Uh, it's just a super cool diorama piece that, uh, wow, it's just, it's just amazing. Next from Jack's Dio is, what do we got? Pain doesn't hurt if it's all you've ever felt. Ooh, Vincent Valentine. Uh, latest diorama about Final Fantasy VII. Hope you'll like it. I do like it. I love the accessories with the boxes and whatnot that you've got on here. It really adds to the piece. And then, of course, the diorama wall back here is awesome. And we've talked about this before in the past where uh, sometimes it really works to make, when you're making these single wall pieces, where your wall doesn't technically have what would be considered a nicely framed in uh, edge and it actually looks like it's been just cut off and that's kind of what's going on right here which really works I really like it it's just showing you that you're just cutting out a piece of life here and putting it up for display and I really like that it looks so cool the paintwork on here your weathering is very very nicely done and we're gonna get some closer shots in here at some of the debris and accessories uh, the stone here looks awesome. You painted it great. It is sculpted super nicely. So awesome job on a really, really cool looking diorama. Very unique. Uh, we don't see much for uh, Final Final Fantasy dioramas, and it's always fun to see some different uh, different stuff. This one's coming from Star Marvel 76, and this is a Crocodile Dundee uh, display, and I really like it. I don't think I've seen any Crocodile Dundee dioramas yet, so this is the first, and I am really liking it. So what do we got? Finished up a quick display, Crocodile Dundee tried to carve out some boab trees, boab trees from Australia, they, some weird looking trees, Google them, uh, insulation foam, acrylic paint, etc., etc. So the wood looks, wood and scenics um, I really like this it is a cool piece it's fun it's small so it's gonna be able to fit in lots of different areas I just I think you did a great job on this piece I like to see the little sign here in front to show what this is all about uh, it gives it that completed feel so you really did a nice job on this uh, oh, look at that there's a fish in there huh <laughs> that's awesome so great job this one's coming from Laz Dioramas and Toys, and it is a GCPD truck that they customized, and you really did a nice job on the paint job on this thing. It looks really good. So Commissioner Gordon's ride. Let's go through a couple of these pictures. I thought that there was a before and after. Here's the, okay, so before and after. So this is, what is this thing from? I'm not sure what it's from, but you definitely upgraded it. You pulled, um, got a light bar from somewhere because that's not what came with this thing this thing is really well done the paintwork is so clean and the symbol that you've got there the uh the shield that's really well done is that a sticker or did you paint that 
It looks awesome. You did a great job on this. And so uh, for those of you that are a little bit new here, we do showcase uh, um, vehicles as well if you customize them uh, we don't typically do custom action figures because there is another show from life with brock the this week in customs show but vehicles we definitely will showcase so if you are into doing that go ahead and use the hashtag this week in dioramas and we might showcase those as well Next up from My Kids Hate My Toys, always makes me sad to have to read that, but this thing is really cool. It's kind of, what are we going to, uh, if you played PUBG, I have never played PUBG, so to me this looks like a little shed of some sort that you'd find in the backyard, uh, but what are you saying? Hopefully you recognize this, took some creative liberties rather than sticking exactly to the source material, so this is obviously something directly from the video game i'm not familiar so we're just going to talk straight up about the diorama piece itself which is very well done i mean it looks very natural it looks realistic i love the piece and i love the uniqueness of the texture of the outside wall that looks awesome it actually looks like some sort of stucco the door looks awesome a little can right on the uh the, the step there and that concrete looks very realistic your static grass i'm assuming you use static grass um that looks awesome it looks so good uh, i've been wanting to get a static grass applicator um but I just don't want to spend 70 bucks on one. So if anybody has a resource for maybe a 20 or $30 one, hit me up in the comments uh, because I would love to see uh, something a little bit cheaper for that because I'm probably not going to do a lot of it. But yeah, this is awesome. Next, coming from MH Designs 11, and I will be honest, I am a sucker for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so I love being able to see that stuff and showcase TMNT things. This little streetscape dial, I think this is a mixture of a couple of dioramas put together into uh, a street uh, piece, and I really dig it. There's a stoplight here, which is cool. There's some little lights, uh, street lights, which is awesome. You've got a mixture of the uh, DC Collectibles TMNT versus Batman uh, movie figures, and then you've got some animated figures, and then you've got the cartoon NECA figures, so a whole bunch of figures put in together, but check this out. We've actually got a subway system underneath the display. How cool is that? If I had the space to be able to just fill an entire wall of a whole bunch of dioramas, that would be so cool. Sadly, I don't, so I have to live through all of you guys who take up awesome take up who who um, display your dioramas in such cool ways like this so great job and i uh, can't wait to see some more from you this one's coming from mr zombies workshop it is a what is this is an evil dead 2 the cabin uh real wood cabin made way back wish it would have done the front posts accurate um i don't remember what the front posts looked like if there was like a, a fence railing i think there was i don't remember what's not accurate about this but this is really cool looking uh it actually looks like real wood you're saying it was made out of real wood a uh, very very cool looking piece every once in a while we'll see someone make an evil dead uh cabin and they're all unique but they're all very much taking uh from the movie to be able to be accurate which is super cool and i really dig seeing these and this last but not least is coming from, uh, I'm not sure how to say that, Facundovirus74. And at first I didn't think this was a diorama just because of the angle of the shot. Um, but this is a uh, piece for Lord of the Rings. It is from Mordor. And if we take a closer look at this, it is... It's it's really hard to tell that this isn't real aside from the action figure because look at this This really looks realistic the rope looks real the wood actually looks real uh, and this is essentially some sort of uh, uh, contraption that they use to uh, imprison people or creatures and I mean this is this is just amazing work I would never have known that this was not a, like a shot from the movie if 
you know, I didn't take a moment to really look a lot closer, but look at all the details in here. And the weathering on this is so, so realistic. I have just blown away by this. So if you threw this into a cave diorama, oh my gosh, get some nice uh, kind of goldish yellow lighting. And wow, this would just really pop. So amazing, amazing work. Uh, awesome job to everybody who submitted. It's just so cool to be able to go through all of this stuff. Alrighty, we are again at the end of another awesome episode, uh, but we aren't done yet. We need to reveal my top five and you'll get your chance to vote for your favorite on the community tab on my channel after you're done watching the show. And my top five are the Sci-Fi Dio by Little Wep, the Asgard Dio by Yoden via Saint Seiya Squad, the Mandalorian Dwelling by Wakas Bazaar, the Corner Shop by Time Capsule Scratch Builder, and the Hideout Dio by Captain Ears. Again, make sure you go to the community tab on my channel after you're done watching the show and vote for your favorite and I will reveal the winner next week. Alrighty, there you have it folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, hit the subscribe and bell notification if you haven't already, and more importantly, share the video out to anybody you think might be interested in dioramas, and also let them know about the hashtag this week in dioramas on Instagram so we can get even more new creators up on the show in the future. And I will see you next week.